Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to make this effect. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do, uh, we'll go to Houdini, uh, create a rigid body uh, simulation, bring it into Unreal Engine and we will create some materials and uh, animation through Blueprint. Okay, so let's start with Houdini. First, you wanna create a sphere. Go inside and then change it to polygons and add a bit more geometry to it. Um, let's go with nine maybe on frequency. Um, I like the sphere also to sit um, a little bit above the ground. So what I usually do, I just copy the uniform scale uh, parameter add transform node and in transform mode on y-axis I usually paste relative references what it's gonna do it's gonna make sure that the ball sits above the ground and now if you go back and you change the scale of the ball it always will be sitting um, on the ground and then maybe in this expression I'm gonna add plus five just to make sure that it's actually um, above the ground okay now we're gonna add assemble node um, but before assemble we need to add RB the material fracture okay so now the mesh is fractured and we can preview it by adding exploded view node and we can see it's actually fractured um, I kind of don't like this um, fracture so what I tend to do I tend to delete the second level in the material fracture um, and I create ISO offset which is a volume and then I scatter point inside of this uh, volume let's go with 50 for now um, so if you reference the transform you could see that our volume is exactly the same size and this is not what we want. Let's say we want more pieces to be fractured inside the ball. So we need to scale down this fracture by changing the offset of it. Let's say to minus 0.5 and then scatter some points. Okay. I'm gonna connect uh, RBT material with the assemble and I'm gonna plug in scatter into the last slot of the RPD material fracture node. And then we're just gonna tick box for the input points. And now if you look at the exploded view, you can see that there is a lot more geometry inside. Okay, and now for example, you can add additional level if you want. We're going to reduce the points just for the uh, performance. Okay, so we've got something like this. And now we're just going to create a uh, null call it export to dot and we're gonna create a uh, simulation next and let's just select assemble and uh, tick create back geometry with uh, all attributes transferred so uh, dot network and what we want here is RBD packed um, object. We're gonna navigate to export to DOP. Uh, run it through RBD rigid body. Oh. Rigid body solver, solver. And now everything should be working. Okay, so let's just go to the first frame and you should see the sphere. And now if we just want to test it, you could add some angular velocity. Okay, 
I'm done select output. And you should see this on the screen. So there are some pieces going a little bit too far away. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce the scatter points to 30. Also, that geometry seems a bit too dense as well. So let's just reduce it a bit. Okay, I think that's a lot better. Um, okay, so now we've got the simulation. Uh, also, what you could do if you want, um, you could just um, merge it with the uh, ground. So merge node. Um, ground plane. Change the order and run it through gravity force. Mm. It could also just zero the angular velocity and what's gonna happen now, the ball's just gonna drop on the floor. There you go. And you can export that as well if you wish. I just like the other effect better. So I'm gonna delete all of those, uh, add angular velocity back and we should see this. Um, so let's now import this um, simulation here. So we want to transform pieces. And as an object mask, I usually just copy this name and paste it as object mask. And what you want to do, you want to bring back the uh, create points to represent objects. Okay, and now we have this here, which is great. Okay, also you should have installed um, game dev tools, although I think they rena renamed it to side effects lab toolset. Um, if you don't, then um, just click this update toolset in a side effects labs tab. You could probably add this tab here. And what you wanna do, you wanna go to out and create RBD to FBX. I'm going to create now. Export to Unreal Engine. I'm going to navigate to that node. Accept it. Export into this location um, and I also change the uniform scale because everything seems to be very small in Unreal Engine if you export it from um, Houdini so I'm just gonna put any value here between 50 and 100 I'm gonna go with 50 for now and I'm gonna press render Let's now open Unreal Engine um, and let's import the sphere that we've created. Uh, and here you probably want to press reset to default and then import normals. Just make sure you don't have any skeleton plugged in and import all. And now if you drag this into the scene, you should see the sphere and you can control it with initial position. So as you can see, it, it animates. It animates automatically on my screen because I already have Unreal Engine uh, on in play mode. So I probably want to exit the play mode and drag it again with initial position, changing manually. And yeah, so we've got 
um, this in Unreal Engine. The only problem now we have this is that if you open the mesh, you can see that the mesh only got one material. So let's fix that next. Okay, so let's go back to Houdini and let's create some materials for the inner and outer faces. So we basically can uh, create some cool looking materials in um, Unreal Engine later on. So basically, let's go to the material palette. Let's select I don't know, red velvet and blue cloth as well. Okay. And basically, we created this transform pieces node mainly because now we can create anything in between here. Export to uh, DOP and uh, between transform pieces. So we want to do, we want to unpack this. Our attributes just in case, and then we can also soften the normals. And let's put 45 here, and now let's just add those materials. So, material one. Material two, in material one, let's just select the first one, uh, cloth, and make sure it's on on the inside. And in material two, and make sure that one is for the outside, and make it red velvet. Okay. Also, let's just create. Um, some UVs as well. It's not necessary, but you know, if you want to create some noise textures and just some really nice looking animated um, effects, it, it's just better if um, UVs are present. Okay, seems like everything is working. So now we have to assemble it again. settings so um, yeah, deselect create name attribute and select create pack geometry with all the uh, transfer attributes transfer attributes oh, and we want to connect assemble to the transfer pieces and transfer pieces to export to unreal engine node so now if we go to um, rpd to FB, fbx and re-render it basically we should have two materials now um, in Unreal Engine for this mesh. So let's go back to Unreal Engine. Um, let's just make sure this is this one's got one material. It does. And let's create a re-import base mesh. We're gonna have a, an error asking us if we wanna reset FPX, yes. And now we should have two material slots. Save it. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. And in the next video, because that one is um, quite long already, and the next video we're gonna create some cool looking materials and assign it to the to the sphere. Also, I'd like to um, go through with you um, the blueprint setup. So basically, you can uh, we're gonna create a basic blueprint blueprint setup with a, a key input. So basically, whenever you press a key, it's gonna animate. Um, yeah. So hopefully, see you in the next video. Thanks.